What's up guys, Alton here, got another video. Um, today we're going to be addressing this video. And I saw this maybe about a week ago. And this is addressing some of the stuff that's going on in Bethel Church. And it's in Redding, California. So what I wanted to do is that I wanted to go ahead and get into this video. And you guys know that I always address a lot of foolishness uh, I'm sorry excuse me a lot of foolishness that goes on in these churches and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this video I'm, I'm just gonna give my own commentary like I usually do so uh, without further ado let's just go ahead and get right into this video we're gonna pray for some countries tonight I feel like I'm supposed to pray for one in particular and then we're gonna pray for anybody that's from another country if you're from the Netherlands is there anybody from the Netherlands here? Okay, I want Netherlands to come right. I feel like we're supposed to prophesy over Netherlands. Oh. All right, so check that out. Um, <laughs> this is some of the wacky stuff that goes on in this church. Um, you know, you can hear the people in the background just screaming and, and laughing. You know, you hear one let it go. Woo, 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 woo. Sounds like the Three Stooges. Um, but as you guys go on, as we continue to get into this video, let's let's just continue to watch this, man. Oh, I love it. Anybody else from the Netherlands? I felt like you saw Netherlands while we were praying for healing. Okay, you guys stand right there. Stand right, uh, right on that spot. Don't ask me why. Just stand on that spot. All right, I feel like we're supposed to prophesy over Netherlands. And I'll tell you what I said. I feel like I know there's stuff happening in the country, but I can smell something great about to take place. I can feel it. I can just feel it spiritually, just on my own, and as I'm interacting with people about the Netherlands. And I know the Lord's already done something there. He's been doing something. But I feel like it's like quantum leaps. Revival that will quantum leap. It won't just be in pockets. But the Netherlands will be will be known as a place where revival happen on a national level, not just in pocket. That's it. Well, first of all, um, my thing is is that who gave you this prophecy? And he says that he feels it and he smells it and he tastes it. Um, that's not backed up by anything in the Bible. Um, uh, it, it's like, you know, God is going to do something with the world, you know, with all nations, not just the Netherlands. The, the, the Netherlands are, are going to be judged on the same day uh, that we're all going to be judged. I mean, America and you know, China, Japan, you know, South America. I mean, so, so basically saying that, that something is going to happen with the Netherlands because you have a feeling, uh, that's totally unbiblical. But, I mean, you can see that this is, I mean, you can just look at the wacky, the wackiness and the zaniness going on. So. Come on. Is there anybody else? I feel like I'm supposed to prophesy. Extend the hand. But anybody has a very strong, I know I'm taking a risk here. Yeah, you are taking a risk. And we're actually going to see, uh, how much of a risk, a big risk that he's about to take um, when it comes to him and calling people up to prophesy about the Netherlands. Um, let's just hear these prophecies. But if you have a really strong word, I want you to give it to the Netherlands really short, though, okay? I'm going to hold the mic. Okay. Come right here. All right. Make it really short, but just give them about the Netherlands. Yeah, I just came from the Netherlands on a mission trip, and there is such breakthrough in the public schools. We went there, we prophesied religion classes over kids, over Muslims. They got healed in the name of Jesus. And so I just prophesied greater breakthrough in the name of Jesus to the Netherlands, to the people. They would realize who Jesus is, and he's a God of love, and they just experience that. Amen. Is there anybody else? That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I immediately when he said, 
the Netherlands, I saw these parachutes like opening now check up this all out. over above the Netherlands. And I just felt like there's a grace that's being released that's going to be released specifically through you. I just saw a breaker type anointing that you carry. And I feel like as you as you go back, as you go back into that region, there's just going to be radical grace. I saw salvation just taking place very easily. I saw walls coming down with people and their hearts just being completely radically open to you guys. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, and then <laughs> I also just saw, um, I just feel like there's a grace right now for books being written as well, that there's going to be um, just brand new, is that, is that you? I don't know, I just, I feel like there's, there's going to be just books with revelatory insight just being released through you guys. Revelatory insight, uh, God's word is the only revelation that we have, and that's the only revelation that we need, we don't need uh, any more revelation. I mean, the canon is closed. God is not revealing anything different or, you know, or he's speaking to people individually uh, about some new revelation. So that's just, that's, again, it is totally unbiblical. And that he just wants you to know that he's just putting his hand behind you and he's going to push it and it's going to be wild and you're not going to have to self-promote. Yeah. Well, you know, look at this lady <laughs> here. Come gonna on. it's going to be his backing and his power and his anointing pushing it all for you. Just like Bill hasn't had to self-promote anything that he's put out there, there's going to be that same covering on everything that comes out of you guys. Can I lay hands on you? Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> seeds to sow and I, I felt like you guys are probably like you know what do I have it, what resource do I have to give to the Netherlands but I feel like God's saying that you are that seed that he's planting and so he's planting you uh, as that seed and you are rich in soil you are full of treasure you are full of the Holy Spirit and you know what God is is, is gonna bring increase into that land and I'm telling you it's a great harvest because he's planting you as a seed so is it okay if I touch you? Is it okay if I lay hands on you while I'm talking to you? I saw... And none of this stuff is in the Bible. Um, I mean, you know, people just walking around laying hands and, and, you know, doing these false prophecies. And this is one of the reasons why when people who are believers or they're trying to be into the faith, they will attend certain movements like this. And these people will make all of these prophecies. And when some of these things don't come true, then that's when people begin to question and doubt God. And it's because of some of these silly movements. And to be honest, a lot of the movements like this are starting to pop up all over the place. A wave of worship. I saw a wave of worship hitting, hitting you. Yeah. I saw, I saw that there was no separation from worship in the church to the streets. Wow! I just saw, I just saw it. Ooh, it's this like extravagant, uncontainable worship. It's like a fire. Shura, baba, ya mama, we bless you. She said, ya mama, ya mama. I don't know what language she's speaking, but that's, you, you can tell that that is not a real language. Uh, she's just quoting a bunch of gibberish, laying her hands on people. And this is all of uh, this Kundalini spirit type stuff. So um, it is very sad of how this has gotten into the church. Mama, we bless you. Whoa. Yeah, and I just, whoo. You'll be known for worshiping. Extravagant worship. Laid down lovers. You couldn't, it's like it won't be stopped. It's like people will just fall on their knees and have no idea why. And they'll encounter the Lord. Yeah, bless Netherlands to worship the Netherlands. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Anybody else? I, I heard the word children. I believe there's going to be a uh, breakthrough in uh, childhood diseases. That in the, the Netherlands is going to be an amazing breakthrough. People are going to come there. Children are going to be healed easily there. And I just released that healing from childhood diseases, a complete breakthrough over this country. 
Yeah, and I know this is already happening to some extent in your nation, but I just prophesied that Amsterdam is going to be a hub of innovation, but it's actually going to be coming out of the church. I know that's already starting to happen, but... Amsterdam is going to be the hub of innovation, and a church is going to have something to do with it? Really? <laughs> this guy said Amsterdam is going to be the hub of innovation. Now, I don't know if there's two Amsterdams, but the one that I'm thinking about is the one that where prostitution is legal, uh, drug use is legal. Um, I, it is basically a, a place, a city, where some of the most wickedest and vile things go on in Amsterdam. It's like the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and he believes that the church is just going to, you know, that, that place is going to be the hub of innovation for the church? It's going to be a nation that's known for innovation and technology coming out of the church. Um, as soon as Eric said the Netherlands, I just I was reminded of, I think it was Brother Andrew, that Dutch guy who like smuggled Bibles to all, like, all these closed countries. And I was reminded of like this bit at the beginning of the book when um, he was talking about when he was a kid and he kept on breaking his clogs and they split apart. And I saw this huge, huge wooden clog and it split apart, and what I felt like the Lord was saying that he was breaking the, um, breaking the containers for how you held him, and then out of that, it was like, I saw all these people arising, and they were dancing, but they were dressed in like traditional Dutch attire, you know, it wasn't like, um, wasn't like UK or like American or like, it was really, really traditional, and I just really feel the Lord saying there's something, he's really anointing the, um, the, the traditional Dutch like music and the traditional Dutch dancing, and I just feel like that's gonna see, like create some breakthrough with the spirit, just like going back to the old, <laughs> that had nothing to do with the Bible. I mean, you know, <laughs> traditional Dutch clothing and dancing. That I mean, how is that going to save souls? Now, what does that have to do with anything that's being done in the Bible? What does that have to do with spreading the gospel? Nothing. You do know that the Lord is going to destroy everything about this planet. And the only people that's going to inherit it is his true followers. It's not going to be, uh, you know, some people in, in their traditional clothing, traditional dances. That stuff isn't going to help save sinners. drop over the Netherlands. I saw the word wealth just drop like a bomb over you guys. Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah. Look at him. He, he can barely hold his composure because he knows how stupid this is. The times to come. Look at him. <laughs> look. I mean, look. Look at this. It's a sideshow. <laughs> this is nothing but a sideshow going on in this church. And people attend this because this is what this is entertainment to them. And like I said in my other videos, this is supposed to be a place of worship, but you got people uh, just coming in here, you know, shucking and jiving, uh, shucking and jiving. Uh, it's it's just sad, man. It's it's just sad. Uh, all right, come on. Look, this guy can barely stand up. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, as I was standing back there, I, was, uh, I, I just really got a, a vision that the Netherlands is like the, the burning bush when Moses uh, uh, stepped upon into, and saw the burning bush. I just really feel that it is just ignited. That country is just being ignited like the burning bush to, to, to launch you into your destinies. And, and along with the whole technology and stuff that... You do understand that the burning bush was God speaking to Moses. So the Netherlands cannot be ignited like the burning bush because the burning bush was God. It, it wasn't something that, uh, you, you know, this wasn't some miracle or sign or wonder. Um, that was supposed to be some type of prophecy. The burning bush was God. So that, I mean, he just totally, that, that analogy just went totally over his head. Uh, out of the church, as you spoke earlier, out of the church, that, that you're going to see people that are 
working from excellence that are coming out of excellence that just comes naturally as as children uh, are just being brought up in this new launching pad out of excellence that that is the norm for them that that, that uh, they will impact and influence the world on how to be in the kingdom and just just becoming the best of the best of the best of the best and that's just because that's who we are the best of what the best of what you're talking about being being the best here on earth I mean if anyone has read the Bible I mean you you understand that God doesn't choose the best of the best he chooses the meek and the lowly and that's how God chooses to get his glory he chooses the meek the lowly the wretched sinner and he turns their hearts he doesn't wait for us to do something or to do something great and then say, okay, well, now I'm going to choose you because you've done something great. And so I just released that, that burning fire over in the Netherlands. Yeah. All right, last one. Now, I've already seen this. Um, this lady, um, I mean, you guys are going to see it, but this, I mean, this part was, was pretty sad, but l let's just watch it. I just kept on seeing this, uh, this tractor filling up the ground. Whoa! I just feel like the Lord is saying, I just feel like the Lord is just saying that, whoa, there's something in the spirit realm happening. Show! Over there that, whoa, is causing such a... T now look at this guy. Look at him. You know, I mean, he can barely hold his composure. Killing in the ground. Whoa! Such look a... Look at him. Show! Such a just a. Oh, he has to tell the group. He has to tell the group to stop laughing, because I mean this is funny to them, you know. And this lady's supposed to be prophesying, and and she's having these spasms, and, and this is the Kundalini spirit. And I'm gonna show uh, some clips of that later on uh, after this video. But but we're gonna I'm gonna show you exactly what the Kundalini spirit is, and this is just an imitation of that. But. But but look at this guy, you know, and I want you to pay attention to him and his reaction to what this lady is doing. And I want you to pay attention to this guy back here in the back. Whoa, for the spirit of God. And it's just going to be such, whoa, an outpouring over there. Whoa, shut. And there's going to be all these seeds planted. Whoa, of this, this, wow. I mean, it's just like this beginning in the spirit realm happening. Shut. And there's, it's awesome. That's all I have to say. It's going to be a big harvest. So. Now look at this lady. And you can continue to watch this lady. And she's still going through these spasms. And I don't know if this lady had Tourette's Syndrome or... Um, or the Kundalini spirit has gotten over her, um, but I mean, it's 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 a it's a frightening sight to see. Look, he's still laughing. Now pay attention to these people on the ground, especially this 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 lady here. And I really want you guys to pay attention to these people that's on the ground. Keep that in mind. Now she's supposed to be knocked out. Okay, she's supposed to be filled with this spirit. But she's able to grab this paper. Okay, Netherlands. That's the end of the video. Um... But what I'm going to go ahead and do now is play this clip of what happens in these Indian churches or the, these Hindu churches when it talks about, um, just to kind of show you guys what the Kundalini spirit is and how it has crept in to these churches.
we can see, uh, same exact thing. You know, we got people laying hands. We got people laid out. Uh, doing all of these crazy things. And I mean, it's the same exact thing that's going on in these modern day churches. And this is this kind of Jesus culture uh, type movement. And Bethel Church in Redding, California is really big on this. You know, they're, they're pretty big on this. And it's just sad to see a lot of mess and trash in these churches. And I know a lot of people, they've seen me address things in a black church. Um, and I know a lot of people say, well, it's not just a black church, it's just a white church too. There's a lot of things that's going on in these churches. But, but like I always say, you know, it is the body of Christ. This is affecting the body of Christ as a whole. And we just have to, as believers, you know, we, we really have to get back to the Bible. We really have to study the word. Um, because when you don't study, this is a prime example. You don't study mess and trash like this gets into the church. And people think that this is what church is. So I just wanted to kind of do this quick video. This is about a 20 minute video or so. Um, and I just wanted to kind of give you guys another example of some of the stuff that's going in, going, going on in some of these churches. But I mean, it is imperative people that we get back into the Bible. We have to get back into the word of God. We really do. Um, and as always guys, uh, you know, if you like what you've seen, uh, like rate, share, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you guys have a blessed day.